Hello everybody! Today we are going to do something very challenging, so fasten your seatbelt. We are getting ready to delve into the huge world of game programming with um, graphics and stuff like that. Today we're learning sprites um, and some other stuff. It's probably going to be a two-parter because it's very in-depth. Um, so with that in mind, I better get started. Here we go. Last time I showed you the freeform editor. Use it today. Uh, it's nothing too complicated. Just, you know, give it a title, a graphics test or something like that. Um, handle number one, I usually call it. And what we didn't do before, but we're going to do today is the type. It defaults to window, but we're going to go on down to graphics. Um, I'm actually going to choose this one. What these here specify is that you can't change the size of the window. Like, you see those went away? You can't, like, maximize it and have it fill the screen. Um, and what do you think we should do? Well, my idea for this program is that it's going to have a little little sprite, that, like a little ball or something. It's going to be bouncing up and down. You can drop it and you can stop it. Reset it so it goes up to the top again. Uh, so we're going to do some sprites and we're going to do some stuff with like programming physics and stuff like that. If you haven't had physics, don't worry about it. It's nothing too complicated. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have three buttons. I'm going to have one to stop, uh, to drop the ball, one to catch the ball, and one to reset the ball. So release the ball, and we'll call this label drop or something, and then we'll have a button called stop the ball and we'll call that stop <clears throat> put it right around there and then we'll have one called reset rest <laughs> reset call that label just reset put it right around there uh, this is all we need to do in the, the GUI editor. So now just produce the code. Paste it in here. Uh, I'm going to show you something rather magical. Upper left x equals display width minus window width divided by two. What do you suppose that does? Well, that centers the window in the screen. So it'll it'll be right smack dab in the screen. Let's do the same for the y direction. Upper left y equals display height minus window height divided by two and then just subtract subtract a few pixels for the taskbars and I don't know how many it is exactly 30 or so but um, if you don't get it just draw yourself a little picture and soon you'll see how that makes sense <clears throat> so don't forget to trap the close event um, you do that by doing print number one um, trap close We'll have a label called quit. Put that down here. And that just simply closes the window, stops the program. Oh, let's see, we have three other labels here. So let's add those in here. We have one called drop. We have one called stop. Oh, we should have one called roll. No, I'm just kidding. And we have one called reset. Um, now, where are we going to get 
these sprites from? Well, time to learn about sprites. Now inside your Just Basic folder, there are all of these sprites that come with the program and stuff. Unless I think they come with it, maybe not. Uh, but uh, as you can see, here I'll open up the one we're using here that I made earlier. Um, open with paint. You have it, you can uh, size it with the pixels. You want it to have the vertical distance be twice as much as the horizontal distance so that you can have um, uh, a mask here. And this mask will take just the sprite and everything, the background will show through wherever you don't want it. So you got white on the top, black on the bottom, the mask is in black, and then you just draw draw your sprite over the mask on the bottom. If that makes sense, it should. And then just save it as a bitmap, a .bmp. That's what we use in, in Just Basic. I don't think I made any changes. And then you can also make a background. Here I, I made a background that is the same same dimensions as the window, which I think the default is 515 410. And yeah, and I made I made it so that um, where is it? Paint, 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 paint. Oh, I closed it. I made it so that the 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 deck here, the black part, is three hundred pixels down. We'll need to remember that number. <clears throat> now, how are we gonna get those files into here? Well, you do that with load BMP. First, you give it a name, the name that you'll use in, in the in the program. So for the red ball, just call red ball, comma, and then the path and file name. If the if the um if the file is in the same folder as the program, then you can just give it the, just type the file name in here but since it's in a folder inside the folder um, the folder called sprites you gotta specify that so just that path and then the file name which is what was it red ball that BMP and then do the same for your background backgrounds optional but I think it's nice I'm gonna call it BG and it's called back what's it called i think it's called background ball bmp uh so now we have loaded these into the program now how are we going to turn them into sprites and that is where we will pick up next time